Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Brew House Art Studio. Uh, today I'm going to do things a little bit different than normal. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a QA session because occasionally I get questions and I, I got one that I think is pretty good this time. Um, so I'm going to do a little QA, just a little, hey, this is how I do it. Uh, then I'm going to kill my stream and then I'm going to start up in a, my second stream with uh, continuing where I left off last week, which is a Friday the 13th kill. Jason killing a camp counselor in a most brutal and horrible way. So anyway, let's jump right into it here. Let me grab my stylus. So the question is. How can I pen and control an elbow uh, when leaning on a counter? Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. I wish I had a piece of mocap that um, of a character leaning on a counter, but I, I don't have it. So uh, I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to make one of my own. So this is kind of a, a twofer uh, tutorial. One, it's I'm going to show how to handle leaning and it works for knees too if you take a knee to the ground uh but how to how to lean on your elbow also how to take something like an ambient idol that's standing like what you see right here and turn it into uh another ambient idol in this case leaning on a counter so let's get started so uh, i'm going to do the how do you lean on the counter first and then i'm going to show how you pin an elbow First thing I did was I uh, I did a pose, guy leaning on a counter. I uh, just kind of just did something really quick. I thought this looked pretty good. Uh, and then I grabbed some uh, ambient idle motion capture, which is this, where he's just idling. Uh, I took a, I copy the pose from the, the leaning and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to full body mode. Uh, I'm going to go to an animation layer. I'm going to go to frame zero. And I'm going to paste that full body. So there you go. Now he's there. I'm going to set a key. It's a full body key. And you can see now he's idling here, but he's a little wiggly, right? It's a little swimmy because it wasn't this animation wasn't shot or designed to work with this in particular pose and you can also see he kind of pops <laughs> because it's not a looped animation so if i scrub all the way to the end you'll see him go pop it's fine i'll fix that by just pasting another pose right here at the end let's go test that loop out i didn't see i didn't see anything egregious yeah that worked all right so now that I got the pose pasted on here, I'm just going to go ahead and plot this down. Plot to skeleton and plot to control rig. Uh, I have pull on on the feet that came from the motion capture. Uh, so I'm just going to turn that off. Now let's start working on this, uh, this animation and making it feel like he, this is how he was supposed to, this is how he was captured. So, this is going to lead us into the actual um, getting that elbow to pin down. Now this works with hand key animation as well as um, motion capture. And it's really, really simple. I'm going to grab his elbow. I'm going to turn on, uh, well, there's a couple ways to do it, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to turn on uh, reach on uh, translation and rotation. And it's still going to be swimmy because uh, it's all baked down. Uh, then I'm going to turn on IK pull. I'm going to go frame zero to do this so you can kind of see what happens with IK pull. Actually, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. Sometimes you'll see the, the character kind of like shift. Oh, why is it turning on the feet? That's a bug. All right, so... So I got IK pull on. So what pull does is it's going to cause that joint to pull the rest of the full body IK so that the elbow has more control over it. There's a chance I may also need to turn pull on on the feet as well. So let me uh, 
Look at that. Now let's go into those curves. Expand this so we can see these curves maybe a little bit better. Of course, my big head is in the way, so maybe I can lean off to the side and hopefully get a better, better view for you all. Or maybe what I'll do is I will just tear this off See if this works. I'll put it right there. Uh, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Let's readjust my screens here. All right, so I've got the elbow selected and I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna ghost uh, translation and rotation on that elbow. So I'm going to say keep. Uh, now what this is going to let me do, this is going to allow me to make edits without messing something up. You can see it's ghosted underneath. I'm going to start with translation first. And uh, I'm just going to kill translation, see what it looks like. And now you can see the elbow is sticking. But uh, there's a little bit of a problem with rotation. Uh, rotation is still a little, you know, we want his arm to be a little more resting on there. There's a couple ways we can handle this. Uh, we can try and going into rotation here and doing the same thing. But I think I'll do it one at a time because I want a little bit of, of wiggle in there. And what this is doing is this is just minimizing the curve. All right. So you can see already this this has uh, toned down uh, quite a bit. It's still a little still a little wiggly for me. So I'm just going to go into another pass. I'm going to call this one done for now because I got the elbow locked down. So let's let's plot this down. Ah, playback. Playback's running. Plot to skeleton. Plot to control rig. All right. I think his hips are a little swimmy. I think before I fix that arm, I'm going to fix his hips. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to create an auxiliary effector, which is right there. And now his, his, he's like almost completely locked down. His elbow is still, because it's got pull on, is still trying to pull his hips. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lock his chest down as well. And you'll see what I'm getting at here in a second. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna turn those completely off. I'm just gonna hit play. And I'm just going to take, uh, I think I'll take translation. I'm just going to start sliding it up just a little bit. You can see it's like starting to tone down the, uh, the animation. There might be a little bit, a little bit much rotation. So I think I'll start turning up the rotation a little bit as well. Now these are values you can play with and until you get the feel that feels feels about right. But he still has some good ambient kind of movement to him. His arm's a little wild. That's okay. Because guess what? We can do the same thing with his arm. And don't need translation, but I will do rotation.
we want a little bit of movement in there, so I'll just I'll just turn it down so much. And I think I'll do the same thing with his hand. Auxiliary effector on frame zero. And just slowly turn up translation until it's where I want it. Now I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm going to play with these until I get the desired effect. Uh, mental note, if you are manipulating both the chest and the hips rotation, you should really manipulate them together uh, so they have the same amount of values because the way that the the hips and the chest work, they they work together. They just kind of they kind of go back and forth like this. So if you just if you lock the hips down, uh, what's going to happen is the chest is still going to be trying to move around and, and vice versa. And it looks kind of odd. So my advice is uh, just uh, tone them down together when it comes to rotation. There we go. So I think I like that ambient idol. Just a little bit. And that is how you lock it elbow down. Now the great thing about this as well, let me go ahead and plot this down. Plot to skeleton and plot. A lot of people call this bake. Autodesk is obviously trying to rename plot to bake, but the old school term for this is plot. And at work we call it, we go plot plot. Did you plot plot? I plot plot. Uh, with the uh, elbow on and uh, the chest and everything, if you needed to go back in and add some other animations in, uh, because the elbow uh, is both pinned and it has pull turn on, uh, you can do a you know you can do some posing and what have you, and and not worry about that elbow coming off. Grab his hand, lift his hand up. You can see his hand is his elbow is definitely trying to stick stick to that counter. Uh, and again, same goes for the knee. Let's say he was on the ground and he had taken a knee. Uh, that pinning. Uh, would lock his knee down. So there you go. That is answering the question, how do I lock my elbows down and keep them from swimming around whenever I am animating? Go ahead and save that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and kill my stream. And this will, because this is the Q&A section. And I will be back in about, I don't know, two, three minutes uh, with my next stream. So I will see you all shortly.